May we invite Mr. Tino Kwan, founder of Tino Kwan Lighting Consultants, to deliver a congregation speech to this year's graduates. 現在恭請關永權燈光設計有限公司創辦人關永權先生為今屆畢業生致辭。Good afternoon, Professor Lee, esteemed faculty members, distinguished guests, and fellow graduates. It is my honor to be here today at the commencement ceremony of one of the world's top art and design schools. Congratulations to the class of 2023. As a graduate of PolyU myself, Majoring in industrial design, I can't help but reflect on my own graduation, which took place 50 years ago, in 1973. It's hard to believe how quickly time passes. In fact, my classmates and I will be celebrating our 50th anniversary next month, and I hope that you too will have the opportunity to celebrate this milestone with the classmates in the future. My years at PolyU were truly the happiest of my life. I had the chance to explore various disciplines and learn the fundamentals of design, from art history to interior design, architecture to photography, and everything in between. The diverse knowledge and skills I gained during my time at PolyU have made me a well-rounded individual, prepared to take on challenges of the design world. Today, as I stand before you as the congregation speaker, I want to share my personal journey that led me to become a lighting designer. While success stories can sometimes seem ordinary, I believe they hold the power to inspire and shape our own path. After graduation, I was fortunate enough to secure a job as an interior and furniture designer in Hong Kong. It seemed like a promising start to my career. However, fate had other plans. My uncle introduced me to an American lighting design company that was seeking a lighting designer, intrigued by the opportunity to design lighting products for global markets. I decided to take a chance and went for an interview. To my surprise, the job primarily focused on lighting planning, but it also involved designing bespoke lighting fittings. Stepping out of my comfort zone, I took the job. And embraced this new challenge. Lighting design was not covered in my studies at PolyU, and it was relatively new at the time. I had to learn on the job. Studying design sketches and drawings made by my senior colleagues and familiarizing myself with the latest trends and technologies. My dedication and hard work paid off and I was eventually promoted and transferred to the company's branch office in Greece. Embracing a hands-on approach I immersed myself in every detail of my work. This commitment to excellence caught the attention of Dell Keller and Associates, one of the world's largest interior design companies. They offered me a position as a principal lighting designer in their London branch office, a role 
that marked my milestone in my career and introduced me to international design scene. Living and working in Europe was a transformative experience for me. In 1979, I started my own practice in London. However, fate intervened once again when I returned to Hong Kong for a visit. A renowned American minimalist interior designer was in town seeking a lighting designer to collaborate on the prestigious project. Since there were no other lighting designers available, I was the perfect fit. What was meant to be a short stay turned into a long-term commitment, and I found myself returning to Hong Kong for good. Upon settling back in Hong Kong, I started my own design firm, initially with just a secretary and an assistant designer. Over time, I worked my way up, from small projects to large-scale endeavors, from apartments to five-star hotels, and expanded my reach from Hong Kong to the Asia-Pacific region and beyond. Today, my firm has an offices in Hong Kong, Beijing, and Tokyo, employing 60 staff members. It is considered to be one of the most established and sought after lighting design firms on the international stage. Looking back, I realized that my story is shaped by both fate and a few key principles that have contributed to my success. The first one is the importance of stepping out of our comfort zone. While comfort is enticing, it can hinder progress and prevent us from exploring new possibilities. Our comfort zone is like a rubber band that binds us. By stretching it, it allows us to see more and accomplish remarkable things. Passion is another vital element. As, the, as designers, we must cultivate a deep passion for our work. It is this passion that fuels our drive con for continuous improvements. Even after 50 years, I haven't retired because I still find joy in my work. Without passion, it becomes just a job, devoid of fulfillment and excitement. Never stop learning is a principle that has served me well. Learning is an ongoing process that exp expands our knowledge and skills. It's crucial not to assume we know everything. Despite being considered a master of my trade, I continue to learn every day. Technically, industry trends evolve, and staying current requires constant adaptation and willingness to start afresh. Lastly, I believe that as designers, we have a responsibility to make a difference in the world. Our training equips us to create for the future. And with that comes a power to shape the world around us. Design has the potential to solve problems, improve lives, and inspire positive change. As we embark on our respective journeys after graduation, let us carry principles with us. Let us embrace new challenges. Nurture our passion, never stop learning, and use our skills to make a difference. The world needs creative thinkers like you, who can envision a better future and bring those visions to life. To the class of 2023, I congratulate you on your achievements and wish you all the best in the future endeavors. 
Remember that your education at PolyU has provided you with a strong foundation, but it is up to you to build upon it and shape your own destiny. Be bold, be ambitious, and never stop pushing the boundaries of what is possible. To all graduates, may your journey be brighter than mine, be proud of PolyU, and be proud of yourselves as designers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kwan. Thank you, Mr. Kwan.